What is going on guys? It's Buzz here. Today we are playing some more Gran Turismo 7. We're going to hop in our pink Mercedes again. Uh, go to the Daily Race B. It's a Dragon's Tale this week. Always provides great racing. And without further ado, let's hop into some qualifying. See how we can get on. Alright, so here we are at Dragon's Tale. I'm uh, going to come around the last corner in second gear. You know, Dragon's Tale is one of the races I just really love every time it comes around. It's great racing all around. A um, little contact here and there, but besides that, it's definitely one of the better tracks, I think, on Gran Turismo. But here we go, starting our first qualifying lap. I'm going to send it down the inside of turn one. Not really much of a turn, more of a little kink. Um, but down in a hard braking zone, breaking the 100 meter board in second gear. Up the inside of the chicane, trying to ride the curb as much as I can, get a wide exit. Probably could have gone a little wider there, but that's okay. Down to the next turn, we're going to keep it in fourth. Uh, she dropped to third here this time. Um, then down to second, hard turn, stay on the curb again, and then just on the gas as hard as we can, all the way down um, until basically the next turn. Uh, fourth, just a little let off here, and down into third. And back up to fourth, again, just easy on the gas, keeping it on the track, riding the curbs here as much as you really can, and keeping it on the track, then down, flat out into the next corner. We're down hard on the brakes into third, second, trying to get close there. Went a little wide and a little ugly there, but trying to keep it tight as we can. Here, it's basically flat out through the first part as you can, ride the curbs, let off a little bit. Um, then you let off as soon as you get through a second. Down to third, down to second. Could have been a little tidy there. Probably could have stuck with third to gain a little more speed through that corner. Um, but down through the tunnel section, again, flat out all the way down to the last corner here. Gonna break it about 100 meters down into second. Around the corner, just gaining, keeping as much speed as we can. Back on the gas, keep a wide exit. And this is flat out straight to the line. Let's see where we end up here. It's going to be a 144.7, almost a 144 point. We could definitely improve on that, not the best lap. Qualifying lap two, um, managed to get it in right before the race starts. Got a 142.9. Again, not the best lap, it can still definitely improve, but should give us a good start for our first race of the day. All right, so here we go. Um, Quaff high position, our 142.9, gave us P8 on the grid. Not the best start, but should definitely give us some good uh, opportunities to get some overtakes done. Let's see what we can do. We got a couple Americans in front of us. We got King Kong, the Canadian, in front of us. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm really glad they, they shortened up the rolling starts here in Gran Turismo 7. They are a little too long before, but definitely gives you some better opportunities right off the line um, to get some overtakes done in lap one. Short race here, only four laps around, so let's see what we can do. Here we go. Got a good start coming on, on the Nissan in front of us. Going to get around him pretty easily. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, down turn one. Got some battles going on. A little people on the grass there. That's okay. Hard on the brakes, down to second. Pretty tight through there, a little too fast, but we made a good recovery. Wide exit down into turn two, turn three. Coming to turn four here, gonna keep some good entry speed. I'm going to see that, oh, a little too deep for us, but that's all right, we can recover. Now, the Nissan's gonna have a little look up the inside on us again, not gonna have that down into the next turn get a good four-way battle going for us oh major contact we're just gonna try to sneak our way through there get a little contact coming out but that's all right we stay good up in the fourth staying on the curve Ooh, more contact it looks like grumpy old man was indeed grumpy and tried to force his way through it allows the nissan to finally get that move done us he's been looking for it during this first lap hard on the brakes down in the second maintaining our speed through Let's see if we can try to have a little peek up the inside on either Grumpy Old Man or this Nissan in front of us. Maintaining speed through the first chicane. All right, letting off second, down into second, and lost a good amount of time there. Should have stayed in third, down through the tunnel. Um, looks like we're gonna settle in here around P7. 
Let's try to get some overtakes done. Still only lap one at this point and see what we can do from here. All right, so lap two is pretty uneventful, but here towards the end of lap three, we finally get our first look at maybe some overtake opportunities here. We have a three-way battle and major contact uh, happens between Grumpy Old Man and Nissan in front of us. They've been going out for the last lap. Let's see if we can have a little peek up. One of them right here, we're gonna stay on second, give ourselves some space through here. Grumpy Old Man really, really out of shape through the chicane but we have a nice slip on him coming up here let's see maybe we'll have a little peak late on the brakes down the inside we're gonna go for it and he's gonna just cover us off nicely there but going to lap four we have some opportunities here um but if you look behind us it seems the porsche has finally caught up to us so we might have to do some more defending to still hold our p7 here but let's here we go 142.9 similar to our qualifying lap um, this seemed to be lacking a little bit of straight line speed here. The Nissan especially was rapid through here. But here we go through this first chicane. We have a guy disconnect. That'll put us up to a nice P6 right there. Um, but the Porsche behind us is really starting to close in. All over our tail. Almost a little bit of contact there. He's going to have a little peek up the inside. We're just going to cover it off. Force him to go wide. Looks like we're going to have to do some more defending here rather than, you know, trying to attack Rumpy on Man. But that's the right P6 for the first race. I'll gladly take it. Up through here again. It's easy on the throttle. Stay in fourth the entire time. Ride the curbs nicely. And just keep as much speed as you can. And you can see the Porsche behind us. It has so much straight line speed. Down into the hard braking zone. He's going to peek up the inside. We'll just slowly cover him off around the one of the final corners it seems that we have him covered here he's a little far back it was about three four tenths back at this point just keeping our speed through here down to second ride the curbs clean through there no contact barrier this time but here he comes again so much straight line speed i'm gonna try to cover off the inside on him hard on the brakes and we should have him pretty much cover he's going to try to go wide around the outside here but not going to have any of it take a nice wide exit and that should be good to help us secure p6 for this first race all right so before our second race we hop back into qualifying and try to improve our qualifying lap and for our first lap back we hit a 141.9 lap two we were able to improve again i think we set a 141 flat almost and then for our third and final qualifying lap for our second race, we set a 140.4. Pretty happy with that time. I think still there was more time to be had, but overall it should give us a good starting position for the second race. All right, so here we go for our second race. Our 140.4 will manage to put us P5 for this race off the grid. Now this race is really, really interesting. Um, the two Brazilians in front of us we're uh, feisty to say the least um, in this race, but overall it was a great race. Good amount of contact to say the least, but you no, know, it happens as Gran Turismo. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a good start off the line again. Three, two, one, and on the gas, on the throttle. Good start already gaining up on, is it Luffy Silva here? Gonna have a look down the inside of turn one. Will he give it to us? No, he's gonna close that off. But let's see if we have a look down the inside of turn two. Gonna be hard in the brakes, big contact, almost into the barrier. A lot of contact coming through, but somehow we pop out in P1, just like that. So here we go, P1. Don't really know how we got here, but you know, here we are. So let's see how long we can hold on for it. Down the second, little fast. The super behind us has a ton of exit speed coming out of that corner. We're going to try to cover him off here. Down in the third around. A little shaky for the super through there. We look okay. Let's try to keep as much speed as we can through here. Now the super's going to be inside. He's going to ram into the back of us and sends himself into the gulag. Um, sorry, mate. Down into the hard braking zone. Down the second, keeping speed. Now, the Brazilian here is going to have a hard look up the inside. We're going to cover him off nicely into the first chicane of the two. Flat, going to let off by the time we get to the second curb. Down into third, keeping as close to bears as we can. 
Brazilian again has great exit speed. We're going to try to cover him off. He's going to get the inside on us here. A little bit of contact here down to the breaking marker. And he's going to send it down the inside. Going to try to get the switcher back maybe. It's not going to work. He gets a great exit speed out of there. So very eventful first lap. P2 um, going into it. But second lap, we have a great opportunity to try and get P1 back here. Going to try it down the inside on turn one again again. Nope, he's gonna close it off. Try it down the inside late breaks, turn two. And it looks like we're gonna get it a little too deep. He's gonna get a good run us in the outside, a little too much rotation on the curb, but we hold the position of P1. Um, down to turn four, staying in fourth, letting off the throttles, keeping good speed. Down the second, covering off the inside, so there's no move there. We see the back markers are starting to catch up third fourth getting closer and closer in the rear view but we're holding the brazilian off nicely here a little wide on that turn and it's going to give him a good run to us he's going to make contact with us here actually oh and we have a little game of bumper cars here um he's going to take back p1 because of that we're going to have a look down the inside maybe you can try to outbreak him here he has the inside line late on the brakes and it's going to force us too wide we're going to miss the apex and that's going to give him p1 there and we leave ourselves a little exposed to three and four has a little bit of moment there the brazilian um but through the chicane we go still have a great opportunity here keep it close to the barriers and almost kiss the barriers there actually um but now into the slipstream of the brazilian we have actually another one um on the slipstream of us it looks like the supra Ayrton's in himself has fought his way back. He's going to send it down the inside, the same spot as his fellow Brazilians sent it down. And we're going to settle into P3 here. Not the best second lap, losing a couple positions, but here we go. Third lap, P3. Still have great opportunities to make a move here. Um, down to turn one. They're going to cover that off nicely. Late on the brakes, turn two, and they're going to be just a little bit later than us. Now the super is gonna close off, give us a little bump, and that's gonna leave us exposed to my fellow American behind me. Down turn four, a little wide, that's gonna put us on the grass into the barrier, and that's gonna earn us our first penalty of the race. 1.5 seconds coming towards us. Um, just try to get too greedy on the throttle there, try to carry too much speed. That is on us. Um, but nonetheless, still in P4, um, two more laps left to go. A little bit of a moment there, and that's going to give the Supra, who's going to ram us for about third or fourth time this race. Um, somehow he managed to send himself in a gulag, clutches 1v1, and came back. Cool. And now the Aston Martin speed behind us. We're going to try to cover off here on the, on the apex. We don't lose any more positions on this lap. The helicopter vine, very low there. Might be caught in some terminal air if we get too close to him there. Of course, to get the warning, our penalties coming up through the chicane. On the throttle, the Supra and the Astoners playing bumper cars there. We're going to leave ourselves exposed. Um, server penalty there, down to second, down to third. And drop into P5 in this race. And now the McLaren is getting closer and closer for this last lap. The Aston and the Super you see, have too much straight line speed for us here. You see them disappearing in the distance. So we're going to try to hold on to the P5 here as much as we can. If we look to have it covered here. The McLaren seems to be lacking a bit on straight line speed. Down into the second turn. And too deep, way too deep we go onto the curbs. And that's going to give the McLaren the perfect opportunity to gain some time of us. Now it looks like both the brazilians actually lost it there don't know what happened there but i'll gladly take the p4 back down in the second a little wide miss the apex there kind of giving the mclaren all the opportunities he could possibly ask for to, to get it moved on on this here but we're still going to hold on to p4 down the third keeping speed through up into fourth light on the throttle mclaren's getting a little bit closer but i think we should have him covered off here down into the hard braking zone down to first second second 
Ooh, and he's going to send it down the inside. He's going to ram us. Um, not the cleanest dive bomb, but here we go. Try to get this position back if we can. Final lap. Going through the sh uh, chicanes, through the first, through the second. Maintaining speed through the second. And we are on him. Um, he's going to lose some time there. We're going to go bumper to bumper with him here. Just pick him as much slipstream as you can. Have a peek to the inside. He's not going to cover it. Late on the brakes, cover off the apex. Just park ourselves on it. If you see above us, it looks like the Super actually has a time penalty. So we got the move done to McLaren. The Super has a time penalty. And that's going to put us at a, I believe it will be P3. Yeah, we end up in P3. So nice podium for the second race. Again, dirty, dirty race, not the cleanest driving, but, you know, I'll take the podium. Super, super fun race, and let's see what we can do in the final race of the day. All right, here we go. Third and final race, 3-2 run on the gas. Great start again. Let's try to make a move on this in GTR. Gary, see you later, Gary. Up into... Eighth. Up into eighth. Contact here off the start, going to send it around and immediately get shunted into. Um, we go Danny Phantom mode, back through gear. We got cars sideways, cars backwards, cars on the grass. Um, and then here, big shunt from him, and that's just going to send us into the barrier and give us a five second time penalty. Yeah. I don't really know what much more we could have done there. Um, yeah, good race. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It means the world to me that you took time out of your day to watch me play a game that I love. If you guys could just like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Um, again, thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next video.